Good morning everybody, welcome back. I've finally completed a journal and this one I have named In Fields of Gold. Um, it measures four and a half inches by six and three quarter inches and it's got about a one and a half inch spine. Um, I've included uh, some of the Tim Holtz fabric that's been stitched onto um, and then I've got some canvas underneath and you can see a lot of layering. I've got vintage lace, a couple of different vintage laces, um, burlap, the images. Now these images are Louise Hensel. Um, she's got a shop on Etsy so if you're interested um, you can check her out. She has some really really cool digitals. And then here I've added one of the Tim Holtz um, metal plates with a brad and then more layering there so you can see and then this is some dimensional with cardboard back there so there's a lot of layering on that and uh, it's two signature I, I don't know if I said there's over a hundred there's about 144 pages in this and then that's a side view because it is a little bit gator mouth but it's not massively um, because there's a lot of writing in space in there I didn't want to get it too full because um, so the recipient can add their own details to it. So on the front cover here I've made a little window pocket and then added this tag. Now what I've used inside of this journal is a mix of um, designers, but primarily the pages are Louise Hensel's, um, and I can't recall off the top of my head because she has, there were three kits that I ended up uh, combining, so just check out her shop, um, and I will put her name in the description box below and you can check her out. So this flips over, and then what I've done here is this is an, just an altered um, mailer and I'll tell you the little story behind this. This was a um, a mailer from the IRS that I received and oh did I take great pleasure in altering this one. <laughs> so, so that's my story for the day guys. <laughs> the IRS, maybe they do have some use. <laughs> so you got a little window here and then I just added um, a tea dyed index card. I've stitched all that. I did some stamping and then added a brad with some with some uh, trim. Hang on a second guys. It's getting very warm. Okay so here I've, I've made two pockets, added um, some butterflies and just scraps of paper, did some stamping there and then that's got a place for you to journal on the back. And then here, um, just a couple more tags and things. Add just a little stamped image up there and stapled that. I just like the way that came out. And then here, just some bits of fabric and laces throughout the journal. And then I created a pocket here with another um, handmade journal card. This has got old book pages in it, old um, calligraphy practice papers, <coughs> and lots of stamped, <coughs> excuse me, stamped uh, tags and things. And then another little tag there. And that talks about old, uh, this is 1909 ledger paper. I've added some little bells with charms um, onto some bulb pins so that you've got the little jingle. I love the sound of uh, the journals with those on them. And then this is a um, like a glassine bag that I've stitched around and made a double pocket there. 
So as I said, lots of uh, different artists, uh, designers have come in. This is Tracy Fox. These are from Nikki Atgun, and everybody's on uh, Etsy. So I'll try to point out anything that's, um, you know, from a different artist or designer. So here, just made another one of those little fold-up uh, envelopes, and I've just attached it to that music sheet. So I think you can see where I got the name, because there's quite a lot of gold going on in this, which I absolutely love. Uh, golds and the yellows, I think, are really, really pretty. Again, this is another image from um, Nikki, and this come from Nikki's shop as well, so do check her out. She's got some really nice um, bits of ephemera and kits going on. This is a uh, canvas pocket that I've stamped onto, and then I've added this little mini Rolodex card there with another butterfly. I love the butterflies uh, in the journals. Another handmade tag with some more of the Tim Holtz fabric as a um, tab. Stamping here and there in the journal. Another couple of journal cards that are tucked behind here. And then this was gifted to me during my friendship um, journal challenge. Isn't that a beautiful paper clip? I love those. And those were prima. I can never get my hands on uh, that kind of stuff. So that was really exciting. So here, this just more journaling space and then it's a tuck spot behind and and then I've just clipped the the butterfly over that to hold that closed but I love those paper clips just beautiful another stamped journal card and then this is another one I made and these fussy cut um, birds uh, come from my porch prints She's got some awesome fussy cut um, kits that you can purchase with the florals, woodland, and then also the, um, I think that may have been part of the, there's three, there may be more than that, but uh, that's the ones I can think of. And then this is the center of the signature. And I've added a couple more of the little butterflies that I cut out. I just love these pages. And then here, this is just a little a flip out. You could do some writing on the doily there, but I just love the way those look. And that's against a uh, German book page. And it's just beautiful. Here, another little tuck spot and another um, window journal card that I've made. Another little bit of writing space there. So you can see I've added a lot of bits of um, laces and old buttons throughout the journal. More of that vintage ledger paper, some more lace. And the papers have all been tea dyed in this one. I've kind of gone back to the tea dyeing because um, the last batch of coffee dyed I did not like. It came out very gray looking and I don't like that at all. So. And then inside here, I've just made a little journal card. That little envelope tucks into the butterfly there. Here's a little glassine envelope, and I've made this little journal card and added some die cuts to that. And then on the front, just use the ribbon and added a flower there so I love how that came out and then another little journal card that's tucked in and then over here added these journal card I love that stamp I've got I can't recall who 
made that stamp. I've had it for years and years, but I do love it. I love anything with birds on it. And then here I've got another little um, journal card that I made with a negative die cut. And I've back that with tea dyed paper so you can do some writing back there. And then this is one of the Tracy Fox kits that she's got and I've just added some of the... <clears throat> you can order this, it's a roll of these. Uh, let me just show you, it's easier to show you. Oh, I can't show you. I put it in the other room. But anyways, it's a roll of this uh, plastic tape. But as you can see, let me put it against that. It's got the florals and birds. Um, and you can get that from Amazon. And those are just perfect for these um, little slides. This is some uh, straw paper. I finally found a source that I could pick that up from, so I've included that. I meant to point that out in the, um, the, on the other side of it. <clears throat> so I love adding those, you know, different papers. And then here this just <clears throat> flips over, and you've got a pocket there that I've added that journal card inside. Again, another stamped journal card. I love that stamp. And then this is a little tuck spot here that I've made. And I've got lots of layers going on. And then one of the Tim Holtz wildflower um, die cuts. I can't recommend that too much because I use it over and over again, those die cuts. And then this is the second signature. Just added some more stamped image with some extra scrap uh, scrap papers I had, and then again that's the straw paper. Another of Mickey's little tabs there. Sorry guys, I didn't realize I was out of frame. Um, here <clears throat> I've made a tuck spot there, and this is an old um, horticulture, and it's all been it was a. Um, book I purchased, gosh, probably coming up on three years ago now, and it's all been done in typewriter font, so I love that. And yes, I'm getting very low on that. <laughs> don't think I'm going to run across anything like that again. So here I've got a die cut and a little pocket there with another little tag tucked in. That's all been stitched around, and then it's also got another large pocket on the back. And I love that um, journal tag. Some old trim I've added to that. And then again, another flip out with another journal card there. Here I've just made a little paper clip. And then this is a little envelope I have not glued together. I thought in case somebody wanted more writing space, but it can always be glued together. I love those. Those pages are so, so pretty. Okay, and then here is the slotted stitch die uh, from Tim Holtz. And I've just added a little, it's an alteration tag, and I've added some of Tracy Fox's tiny embellishments there. And these little tags come from Tracy Fox as well. Um, this is a journal card from Artie Mays. You probably recognize that from her spring journal kit. And then this tiny little envelope here. Let's see if I can get it. And then I've just added a couple of little tickets tucked inside of that. Of 
glassine bag pocket and another tag that I've made. Uh, a couple more of the little butterflies in the center of that. This is a Edith Holden book page that I backed with tea dyed paper and then added some of Artie Mae's butterflies. I love how that came out. So that's a nice big um, tag. And then I made a little snippet tab here and then I added another uh, bell and butterfly charm to the bulb pin. Another um, negative along with another of the wildflower die cuts. So you can see there's a lot of space to still add your own embellishments to, but I wanted to make sure there was plenty of writing space. Now this is from Tracy and uh, Artie Mays did a collaboration recently for um, Nature's Remedies. And this is one of the trifolds that they've included and I've just printed it two to the page. And um, in each of these I added a little handmade tag. And those have just been collaged with bits of scrap from my scrap pile. I like that. It looks like old worn leather. So that's tucked in there. Here, just a burlap flower with an old button that I've stitched there. And then this is um, Judith Sanderson um, sent uh, Angela and myself a journal page and this was the way one of the pockets that she had created well Angela's recently done a tutorial on this so um, thank you both ladies um, so I watched Angela's tutorial and I just made my own version of it um, so here I've made a pocket with a little stamped tag and then you've got couple of little private writing spaces there and then this flips over and again you've got another pocket this is a handmade paper tag and I've stamped that and then this flips over again and you've got another little private writing space there and then another pocket um, and then this is another handmade tag that I've made And then I've just added the little uh, Irish linen thread so that it would kind of hold it closed when you're flipping through the journal. Again, another little tuck spot there. And another bit of the straw paper. And then here... This is the back cover, and inside this large pocket, I just went ahead and added another journal card. That's got some vellum. I love that. It feels really nice. And then just a little scrappy notepad, and those are in the back there. So. That doesn't want to go in. Let me see what's going on there. Okay. So there it is, guys. This is, I've named it In Fields of Gold. Um, so this journal is going to be for sale in my shop. If you're interested, you can check the description box below. It has a link to my shop, it'll take you there. And uh, if it shows not in stock, it is sold. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining me today. 
and I hope everybody will take care, and I'll be back very soon. Bye!